Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about Love is Blind in Japan. So as we remember like a few years ago, we have the first Love, in Bla Love is Blind, um, the American version, also the very first version of Love is Blind. And this year they have Love is Blind Brazil. I really love it. And now that they came out with like Love is Blind Japan, I really love. So I wanted to recap. Yesterday I saw like five, the five first episodes. I said I wasn't planning to recap, but since I started, I said, oh, since Netflix usually put episode a section of episode, then another section a week later. I said, okay, that would be cool to recap like the first five episodes and then move on to other episodes. And also notice Love is Blind, the second season of the second America season is coming like in two days. I don't know, I will figure if I have to recap that maybe by next week. You know, I'm a big fan of reality TV, it's always been a goal of mine to recap. Um, we are a dating show, but I only started this year. So I first started, I'm going on recap in The Bachelor. and. Uh, I'm almost done with copying uh, Single Inferno, Single Inferno at Netflix. I say, so why not with Captain Love is Blind? Uh, the reality show Terrace House was one of my favorite show ever. I started watching before the posting on Netflix, so just the regular season. When Netflix pick up the show, come up with a few. New season, I enjoy it. I know I'm just watching it, I'm watching it. And now I, that they have Love is Blind Japan, I say, oh, why not? And like, even the background music for like the house house, I just, I just gonna enjoy it. Okay, that was a very long intro. Okay, now we are back to the show. So, what happened, you know, usually Love and Blind is like, if you watch the first season, you know that, uh, like, the couple they don't met each other, girl by the side, boys are by the side, they only communicate to little chamber, like when they have like they have like uh, a headset that they can hear each other, they only hear the voice, each other voice, they don't see each other empty. One of them propose and they first meet each other. If you're familiar with that show, you have to propose to the person if you want to meet the person. It's like a whole experiment for like a month and a half and at the end you have to decide whether or not you want to be with that person uh, in the marriage you decide if you say yes at the end and it's your husband you know the American version was so popular that's why people love it so much that they bring back this different version now so we started with Love and Light Japan so I just want to highlight the name of the major player of the show so first we have Midori she's 30 year old um, she's one of the girls we shot by like mine and she a business planner she lived in the US Ohio for like a while so she's speaking English very well she also lives in Japan and the second player we have Watari I don't know if I pronounce what her name but I was 38, he lived in Illinois in the US, but I like he's living in Japan. We have Priyanka, 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 she has an Indian name, I don't know if she's Japanese or Indian, I don't know. She's really beautiful, she speaks English very well. I don't remember what was her profession. We have Odashi, he's 31, he's a comedian, very, very funny. <laughs> we have Nanako, Nanako is 35. She said she was a div she's divorced and she's like she's she did ballet. I don't know if she was a ballet instructor, but she said she didn't want to teach because she's trying to find herself. She's currently on a choir, she's looking for something that she wanna do in the future. We have also Nana. Nana is 31, she's turning 32 soon. And we have Motomi. Uh, Motomi is 27. Uh, she was married at the, uh, 21 she got divorced maybe after a year okay the other player that we have we have As Asushi Asushi is 42 
he's one of the player but he didn't make it far so he is very he says old-fashioned so one of his deal breaker he wanted if a woman can cook can do the chore at home he cannot that woman cannot be his wife so he cannot marry her so a lot of women will turn off by that that's what he say <laughs> he's the funny thing he say no wonder he's 42 he's still single because of his big deal breaker so and we have I know I know he's dirty I call it a bachelorette in love is blind because I will explain a little bit why she's a bachelorette is love and blind and we have like um oh Ryota Ryotaro Ryotaro is 32 he has a very calm voice and also a high stylish um I thought he was a player just by the way he looks so he has his hair is dyed very tall guy and we have uh, Yunde Yunde is 23 he's turning 24 so he looks so much like BI you know BI who was in icon the K-pop group icon before he's like a solo he's a, he's a solo artist he's also Yunde Yudai Yuda is also a hairstylist and the next player we have um, Kao Kao Kao, Kao she's a singer songwriter she's like very beautiful she has beautiful eyes as well so she sang so many songs like you know, like the first few episodes of Love is Blind we have Misaki Misaki is 31 he's a baseball coach in Kenya uh, another player that we have we have Minami Minami, she's half Korean and half Japanese. Uh, we have Misuki. Misuki is 29. It's like he's a restaurant owner. He has a steakhouse. Um, he's a businessman and he's really, really handsome. And, and we have another, the 56 year old. We have a 56 year old, so the average age for men is, to, in, no, I don't know the average age, I have to do the math. So the age for men is between 23 to 56, but most of them are like in the 30. And we have like a big age guy for 30 something to 56. So the, there's a 56 year old, uh, uh, Shun, Shintai, Sh no Shintao, Shintao is 56, he was married for like a long time, 20 years, I think his wife died, he won a second chance of love, so he came to love his blind, and that's it's another 28 year old, I don't remember his name, and uh, I love the fact that he's as advice for, to everyone, so those are the major players now, so they, they talk in the board, um, they have all those conversations and we have seven proposals out of those people some people talk you see them but they didn't make connections so I didn't want to write that those people so that there's not too many people to talk about so the first proposal was between uh, Odashi and Teluan the comedian and Nanako, 35 year old, they have a very good connection. So he's really funny, but besides being funny, he's a very deep thinker. You have a very, you have a great personality. And and the divorce girl, she was a little bit insecure about her age because the comedian is 31, is 31 year old, and she is uh, 35. She's older than him, and they was like, they have such a great connection. She. Um, he proposed to her after like, I don't know if it's a few days, and uh, he proposed to her, she said yes, um, they saw each other, she said she doesn't really care about the look, he's the type of guy that she likes, so she was very really happy with her connection, there was not too many, too many drama, besides the fact that all the girls liked the comedian, but it doesn't mean they were like all attracted to him, but they liked him, they love his personality. So the second couple, the second proposal was between um, 
Motomi27, who's like, the girl who's got married like at 21. Um, and 11. And the rest started with a very calm voice. So the 27 year old and the 32 year old man. I thought Yotaro was like a player. But he has such calm voice. He's, I love his personality. Um, they connected so well together and they started like passing little messages right there by each other. She said she was kind of insecure about the fact that she got married so young and she got divorced. He, he, he took that, he started thinking about that. He have he wrote a message to say that not to be insecure about that. that he, he just that's how they started writing each other message. Like he appreciated that she told her. He really took with her the message. She really appreciated that he made her cry. They started passing each other little little love note, and then he proposed to her. She said yes, and then they met each other. She said <laughs> she didn't expect him to look like that. I don't know. She said maybe it's not her type. She still don't get used to him to him so i don't know what's gonna happen after episode five the continuity of the show will tell us exactly what will happen so she maybe she said she never dated someone who looked like him i don't know what i mean i think he's still very handsome i think he's still very handsome but he's not the type okay that's the second proposal the third proposal is between um what what are we? Wataru is like, Wataru is 38, and the guy who lives in, in Anor, I think he's a businessman, and Midori, Midori is my favorite one, the girl with the short hair, she's like a business planner, everything for her is like, she planned everything, asking questions she planned, but there was a love triangle between Midori, Watari, and Pianka. Uh, all of them speak English and I like that um, Watari and Pianka usually connect with each other and they first speak English. They switch between English and Japanese and everything. Midori, she's like, like Watari so early, she was so insecure. Not that she was insecure, she was like scared to lose him and everything. So there was that, a love triangle between those three. I thought. Wata Wataru, the 38 year old, was going to choose Bianca, the 27 year old, but he ended up choosing Midori, so he had to break up the connection to Bianca. But I love, I love Bianca, she's such a boost. I, I love her. I think they were vibing, but mostly like friendship. There was mostly like Watari and Bianca, it was like a bit a deep friendship, they understand each other very well he also he had a connection with those two girls but he ended up choosing he end up choose he end up choosing one of them he chose midori the 30 year old he chose my favorite but when she saw him maybe she was expecting him to be more handsome than he was i think he's still good looking but it's not like very handsome you know so she said he's not her she expected him to look but they look good together I don't know, they look good together. So that's the third proposal. I love them together. I want them to be together. So if you check episode five, like they are with the holding hand, they feel comfortable about each other. I think that's the first couple who actually kiss when they meet each other. Like, you know, they say the Asian dating show is a little bit different from America, like people job people. They didn't only hold each other, they kiss each other as well. So it was it was good to see that. So the fourth proposal is between um, Minami, Minami and uh, Mori. Mori is like a Korean guy who lives in Japan, and yes, so they have a connection. They connect about the culture, the fact that she's half Korean, he's Korean. They connected about that, and they have a lot of other similarities. So he proposed to her. She said yes. Um yeah, they were very happy. They seemed very happy together. This uh, after the proposal, they were still holding hand after the meditation. I said, "Oh, they look so good together." They actually made it. I don't want to like start holding for people right now because I'm like it's too early, so I'm just gonna retain myself. 
starting already for people, but I have my family, you know, I have my family. I put the hardship between them and I put the hardship between the girl who I shot her and the and water. So those are the people I want. I want them to make it because it's, it's not end game yet. So like the fifth couple was between, the fifth love connection was between me, Suki, and 29 year old, like the restaurant owner was very handsome and priyanka i'm glad priyanka found another connection besides since like since what i choose midori i'm so happy because she's such a she's such a good person even when um uh, what i choose midori my family she still helped her she was still very happy for her she like she went back to the bar looking for other connection and she connected with a handsome business owner. She's um Pianka, she's very tall. <laughs> so when he proposed to her, well, he's very handsome. Like if she's not wearing high, I guess they would be about the same height. But he's wearing high heels, so she was a little bit taller very much. But like, oh she said something like when did I win 27 years of my life <laughs> to actually make the guy? She was so happy. That her fiance is so handsome. Yeah, so like that. I love that. Yeah, yeah. Right? It's not that big of a deal. So even my parents, my mom is a little bit taller than my dad. So it doesn't matter. But if she if she will move the diary, they pretty much have the same right. So uh, now we move. That was the yeah. And and we have another couple. So the next couple is like between ten. Then I I don't know I I was saying early that when I talk about I don't know I don't know was like the passion right <laughs> love is blind because like I don't know she first wanted the twenty three year old you die the twenty three year old I didn't talk about him yet but he's the next proposal I uh, he chose actually the way they edited that was kind of like. They put her proposal before uh, you die. Bi look like proposal. So let's talk about bi look like or you die the twenty three year old first. The twenty three year old. Um, so the twenty three year old you die. He choose Nana like she's thirty one. She so she look very young for her age. Not that it's, not that thirty one is old, but I feel like they they suit each other. If nobody tell me, I would guess that she's probably twenty five or something like that. She's thirty one. They look good together. I want them to last. Also, they have similar personality. Both are, they connect very well. So I think you make the right choice. The old man and woman was like pushing him when he choose Nana. There was like a number <laughs> when he choose Nana. There was like. Another girl that I didn't recognize. <laughs> I don't remember her name. She was right. I just see the girl with the great personality. She was 32, 30, 33. There was that girl, and there was uh, I don't know. Um, he chose Nana. So Nana, the girl that I said they have similar personality. So after that, you that you that you know. I I don't know. Notice that she the you they um, the guy who looked like Bea. He chose another person. She was kind of sad. She looked. She was like crying <laughs> a lot. She had other connection. She was. She had connection with two people. The twenty-eight year old. I don't remember his name. And the fifty-six year old. Who is like his name is Shintao. Shintao that I talked about earlier, like as a major player. So she had connection with both of them. They were going back and forth. I didn't know which she was going to. I thought she would let uh, lead into why the 28 year old, but she chose the 56 year old. She felt very bad for the 28 year old. It's so funny that the age she, she chose somebody who was like twice the 28 year old. I was just gonna mash out. I don't want to shame people for the age. I'm just it's just what I noticed at 28 multiplied by two is 56. But that guy, he doesn't look like 56. He looks so young. He looked like he's in his 40. Uh, that means he took very good care of himself. It's good to take care of yourself to look like stay young and healthy for his age. It's not all. I'm just saying that he took care of himself. 
So she chose the 56 year old. The 56 year old, he has such a great personality. If she really likes him, that relationship can last. But I don't trust. I don't know for some reason. She's like very, she's a bachelor and she keeps going back and forth between the two guys. I don't know who she was going to do. So it's like, I really thought she was leading over the 28 year old. He was so devastated when she told him that he threw his book on the floor. He's like, start crying. The other man comes on him. Like, he was very sad. So he didn't make it out to the season. He got, she chose the 56 year old. And she's still not sure. Like, and she took a risk so we're gonna see how everything end up so finally the last couple that from um what that sleeping when i was putting all this so the last couple that form is the oh uh, the baseball coach from kenya and the song rider so the best the best worker is misako 31 and um, Kyle 31. Oh, you know this image. Interesting. So she wasn't sure about him, you know. She was like, she was like thinking about leaving. She didn't want to take a risk. She was like afraid, saying she doesn't know if this is right for her. So she doesn't know what to do. Uh, I'm glad she took the risk. Because after she met the the best for coach from Kenya, oh my god. She kind of had butterflies. She was happy. She liked the way he looked. She felt connected to him. She showed off her hand. Like, I was like, oh. <laughs> she was so happy. Yeah, so I like the connection also. So, so now the little getaway, like the, the last 30 minutes of the the last 30 minutes of the fifth episode, it was just showing like the couple going like for a three day. On like a tree they get away like a little honeymoon because it's usually after the pop the couple connect they have to go to a honeymoon after the honeymoon they have to live with each other met each other family empty the way they did you know how love is blind go so all i noticed about the getaway i noticed that midori the girl with the short hair uh, and Wataru, the 38 year old the planner and the business guy, they look like a married couple. They look like they've been knowing each other. Even though she said that they, they look like they have been knowing each other for years. They look very good. Even the, the host of the show noticed that, oh, you guys look good together. So I, I, was, I, I put the hair on them. I, say, I feel like that connection will last. And also the songwriter and the, the Kenyan teacher, um, I feel like the connection also my last because yeah like we have like eight couple and I forgot to hide like Yude and Nana here but we have eight couple I don't think eight couple will make it to the eye my guess is that some people will break up right before they even make it to the eye maybe four people will get to the eye and maybe two people will get married hopefully at least three people and I can put and, and I feel like the songwriter and the coach for Kenya might make it. And the middle with the short girl, the hair with the short hair, and whatever might make it. Or oh, it must start to look to Priyanka on the other way. I don't know. You know, it was a long time ago, so everything can happen. Also, they meet each other. You know what happened with Jessica and Barney, you know? <laughs> All oh, that mess up thing. Like after, if you see the person who rejected you, your connection might get messed up. And also, I think so. I see the those two people who else can I put my money on it? Mm, let me check. Almost done. All oh, this is me hungry until the camera went off. I can put my money on on the half Korean guy, not the Korean guy, and the half Japanese girl also. This seems to connect very well. I can feel like that's seeing that as a couple as well. And you, and you date the 23 year old, 20, 25. I don't want to say that he's too young to get married. I don't know how serious it is with Nana. Oh, they look good together, but I don't know. I just don't want to like see that they're going to make it because they're so adorable. We're going to find out later 
how everything's going to play out. So I put my money on three people and I told you about those three people, the rest. I don't know. Even the handsome state guy and Priyanka, I don't know what's going to happen. Because the preview showed that, it was already showing how her face was like, I don't know if she, beside being handsome, I don't know if she liked his personality, but they look good together. I don't know. I put my money on three people. Hopefully at least one of them make it to the eye. So thank you for watching the first part of Love is Blind Japan. I will be back with another episode very soon. Bye.